In the today's video, I am going to clean the whole entire house with all natural homemade cleaners that are easier on the budget and it's way better for our health. I'm not Stay tuned until the end of this video for some healthy habits for cleaning. I would rather to clean a bathroom than this fireplace. <laughs> I didn't have the energy for it after being sick, but now I'm catching up on it. I usually do this once a week and I try to designate a day when I don't have any other hard cleaning, just a regular keeping up with the dishes and similar things. But Today I really had to reset this fireplace because it hasn't been cleaned for a month. I love this narrow brush. It helps me out in many occasions. Also to clean the fireplace window, I like to use ashes and my homemade glass cleaner that is 50% of vinegar and 50% of water. When we are sleeping, we are taking a deeper breath and as the temperature drops during the night time hours, the atmosphere traps car emissions and other pollutants in the house and down near the ground. This is why it's so important to air out the house in the morning, even if it's just 10 minutes because it's cold. Dusting regularly. using all natural detergents and just having natural fabric in the bedroom it all helps to improve the quality of the air zone organizing in the kitchen which is where things are organized in the cabinet to have designated area for different tasks helps a smoother breakfast making when we are all in the kitchen i have a cozy spot that is close to the pantry to prepare the breakfast meanwhile Jot has an area to prepare the smoothie that is close to his things dishes can be found close to the dishwasher so that will make an easier unload 
These bags are 16 years old. Yep, you heard that right. <laughs> they still work fine and the reason I love them because I can fold them into a tiny square so they fit into my purse. So I never forget them. When I used to have those bigger ones, I forget them in the car but these are always with me so they always come handy. quick dusting in the dining area and the decoration that I don't know where to put <laughs> and then also I'm going to clean the entryway I do a lot of cooking and baking so that gives a very very messy kitchen so that's the hardest to keep up with so after breakfast I definitely have to do a reset recipe to my all-purpose cleaner will be down below in the description box but basically it's just a little bit of a dish soap water and some essential oils and it works beautifully To keep the house warm we are relying on a fireplace that is a wood burn fireplace so that leaves a little thin black film on everything so I need to dust more often than previously but it does work that I have to tell you because it gives you the warmth like nothing else. I'm going to freshen up the couch that we have but I'm not going to use baking soda because that can ruin all the vacuum cleaners that doesn't have a bag if you have a bag in the vacuum cleaner probably doesn't affect that but if you don't if you have just a canister that you have to clean then don't use baking soda because it can ruin it so I'm just going to use some lavender I'm going to rub it in leave it in there for a while and then just vacuum it When I vacuuming the floor, I like to switch between my left and right hand. That's a good stimulation for the brain. And also, things that we only do on one side can lead to a back pain. I made a video a few weeks ago when I took down the Christmas tree. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I'm still cleaning those little pine needles. <laughs>
bought the steam mop about a year ago and I'm pretty happy with this purchase and let me tell you a few of the benefits that is given to me it kills the 99.99% of the bacteria removes even the toughest of mold growth prevents mold growth from reoccurring clears away trapped pollutants eliminates dust mites removes stains odors grease bacteria mold if i want to add some nice scent to it with some essential oil i never put it into the steam mop i just drop a few on the floor when we wake hear the birds and see the sun it's been a few years that we switched to a linen sheet and we just love this so much because it's a temperature regulating so in the summer it doesn't stick to our skin but on the cold winter nights we are not cold The fastest way to clean a big surface or under the bed, I like to use this dry mop. We had this big chunk of meat sitting in the freezer for a while and the reason for that because it was just a giant piece. <laughs> Today I'm going to stop the procrastination and I'm going to make a dinner out of that. Basically just all you need is lots of salt and garlic and spices. Uh, pork love spices and generally speaking every meat is better to prepare with lots of salt and spice. I baked it about 30 minutes for 375 degrees and then I just going to stir it up and put it back for another 20 minutes and for these pieces this is pork belly so I'm going to make a cold cut we used to have this as a kid in Hungary and uh, we just love this so much so I have to cook this super super slow so it doesn't even hit the simmering temperature it's just a very low low temperature and then once it's cold I'm going to cover it with some spices and and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and then let it sit there for a while and then we can eat it as a cold cut. All the leftover meat will be freeze to a more manageable size. I am back from the errands and I did a little bit of a grocery shopping as well. I got some organizers that I already have in the refrigerator but I needed two more and these are the groceries that i picked up at the store some magazines for kids who are 17 but i don't know what to do staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign some certain of what awaits them when it all ends but i don't know what will happen to me will i be remembered in a century or will i be like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town That we are living in Well I don't know I don't know How could I know What lies ahead of me Am I part of a grander These chores I spread out during the week so I'm definitely trying to get done everything in five days of the week so Saturday and Sunday I just have to do the basics like cleaning up the dishes and each day when I do some kind of cleaning as you saw yesterday I changed the sheet today I'm going to dust and I'm going to just tidy up in the closet so each day I have something different to get done so that way it's not overwhelming
one of my sweet friend bought this to me from the farmers market and i have to tell you i'm completely hooked on this it is like a brussels sprout but it's just little kills quick dusting in the office area and I have this cute itty bitty fat heart and I don't know where I'm going to decorate with that but for now I'm just going to hang them here the computer is attracting a uh, lots of dust so that needs to be wiped more often than any other area in this office When I clean the bathroom, things are very simplified because I like to clean the shower while I take a shower or before I take a shower. <laughs> so I only use just a dish soap, so I don't care if it gets on me a little bit, but it's definitely more convenient. I don't have to worry about splashing the water. So that's kind of out of the way when I come into this room to clean it. So I only have to clean the sinks and then I'm going to clean the toilet and the floors and I got this soap holders as I was doing the errands yesterday I think this is gonna be very handy use this ironing board more of folding than for ironing and the reason for that is just one that that is a non slippery surface so it's easier to fold everything but also I can adjust the height so it's easier on my back I don't have to bend over that much I can just adjust to the heights that is comfortable to me and I can just go around in the house so make sure I'm folding on some cheerful place where I get the sunshine not in a dark laundry room Comfortable shoes are a staple as you're doing the housework because you are on your feet all day. I really love my slippers because it's such a light weight. Kids are picking up their room. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I. water vinegar mixture to clean the mirror and the toilet outside this stop is to clean the sink
baking soda it's commonly used to clean sink but actually it can harm the surface of the ceramic and then afterwards it can attract even more dirt that way so this new recipe actually will be a better solution to clean your sink the oil helps to soften up the harshness of the baking soda We have a refrigerator that is very deep and we have a tendency to push things on the back as we putting new things in there. So this drawer type of storage was the solution to keep everything in the area where it's easily located and just grab at whatever I need. So I keep in one drawer the alike items. One has gems, the other one has the vitamins and it's very easy to grab everything from there. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe, share and like and see you in the next video. Bye!